Hello folks, thank you for coming back to another Tony Montana video. Alright, um, this is the second video uh, responding to an email I received. Uh, I just posted one in Eng obviously English. Uh, I'm just showing, showing back the email I received from Caitlin. Uh, gave me a couple of... Uh, she's basically saying she's new and she wants to clarify the confusion. Um, just right now I'm tackling uh, videos. I realized that this individual or, or, or the name on this here, I don't know this one, but this one and this one are uh, from a person that uh, I'm not sure if she, they're subscribed to me, to my channel, but I've seen them uh, commenting. I'm going to say, I do apologize if I come out, come out strong. I'm like you, I have my own uh, belief system, beliefs. Um, a lot of it is from experience with this particular breed. I see that it uh, seems like you are, uh, you, um, I think the person's name is uh, Best of the Beast. Best of the Beast. Um, I mean, I'm sure you 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 have knowledge. I uh, see, I believe you work in training dogs. So um, there, there is definitely, I believe that you, have, for, for you to be doing that, I'm assuming you do this for a living. Uh, you have some knowledge. You have knowledge of, of, of how to train dogs. I do have to remember and re remind you that this breed was uh, has a specific job. Many of, of, of uh, working dogs, or the, um, the pointers, um, all type of dogs, they if they're bred for that purpose, that the it is genetic, the genetics are pushing that dog to do what you know it was bred to do. When they say bred to do this, bred to do that, that's particular particularly what I was saying. And like like a pointer, a lot of these pointers don't need to be trained to point. They just have that in, innately in their, you know, in their DNA to do that. Uh, retrievers, same thing. They have that they innate love for the water because of, of, of that. Um, so this particular breed is, was created from uh, fighting dogs. Uh, it was inbred together to find those particular traits. Those particular traits in every dog so um in, in, in that's how you form from pit dogs so anyway we are going to look at another uh, video you made i do apologize i didn't realize but but i mean we are we here and we are learning so let's take a look at this i think everything's all right apparently people think game dog means purebred american pit bull terrier a game dog is a dog who will not only win but will stay in the fight no matter what the cost it's Even when it's losing. Game dogs, several breeds. Let's pause this. Hold on. Um, let's go back and listen to what you just said about the def your definition of game dog. Okay? Even when it's losing. Game dog, but will stay in the fight no matter what the cost. American Pit Bull Terrier. All right, there you a go. Game dog is a dog who will not only win, but will stay in the fight. Okay. One th thing there. Uh, the dog doesn't have to win at all. Actually, gameness... In reality, a lot of times, uh, a dog could win due to gameness, but not necessarily. A lot of times, you lose game. Uh, a lot of times, and other times, you win coming from behind because of gameness. Okay? Um, gameness is really, you know, it's kind of like uh, that guy, and I'm going to just exaggerate and use people here. Uh, it's that guy that comes, you know... Every he's supposed to he has a, has a choice of walking from one street or another street to get home, but that guy chooses to go on the street. There's people that are definitely going to try to fight him. They're definitely going to try to jump him, not one on one. But and this guy is always choosing that one instead of the open uh, street. And when he gets there, I'm not saying he Bruce Lee and beats everybody up. He gets he gets knocked out. You know, he gets hospitalized. But every time he comes out of that hospital, he will choose that freaking street. And he will go and, and fight it until he's unconscious. He never wins, but he's always there willing to fight it until the last minute. This is but We're talking about a, a person here. And again, I'm, I'm pushing the, the boundaries. The only breed of uh, that is truly... Game again. A game is being a dog that is on at the bottom. Is losing. It, it is getting 
beat up for a long time, not just two minutes, one minute. We're talking about a substantial amount, a substantial amount of time where where this dog uh, is is just just getting getting beat up, getting getting trash, and every time there's a uh, scratch, that dog will scratch like he he was you know he was winning, and that dog will scratch, want to go back, even if he was getting uh, beat up. He, every time they get separated, that dog will scream like he was winning and you took him out of, like, like a kid that yeah, you took out of a, a ride. You know, kicking and screaming, wanting to go back. That's gayness. And no, not all, not all dogs have it. It's, it's a very rare uh, 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 attribute. It is not a natural, uh, it's not natural in, in, in the uh, animal world. The closest thing I could say of, of, a, of an animal aside from uh, uh, from pit bulls would be uh, maybe lions. Lions were are naturally bred for the fight. Lions have even the mane is part of the fighting. Uh, uh, so the mane is in is part of that you know innate uh, innate natural selection for fighting, uh, and they fight a lot. <laughs> so uh, the males too. Uh, so, uh, but they still don't have that gayness. You see some, like I seen a video of, uh, uh, there were like a, a pack of seven lions or five lions. I don't know if it was five or seven. And one of them, one of them that had a mohawk, uh, that one, he chose to continue fighting. He chose, he, he, he decided to stay there, even though he knew he wasn't going to win against five lions and his, his buddy was almost dead already. He decided to stay there and stick it out until he died. That I consider that pretty, pretty. Uh, there's a cat over there. There's another one over here. So that I consider that uh, uh, pretty gamey. But um, you know, but let's take a look and continue. No matter what the cost, even when it's losing, game dogs, several breeds. You got the Catahoula. No. Nope. American Bulldog was one of the I don't first think so. game dogs. The no. The Cur, what? Um, they use. Black Mountain Cur. Uh, short hairs occasionally. I mean, there's a long list of game dogs that you can mix those breeds. I do apologize, my friend, but I completely disagree with that. <laughs> you know, those dogs can probably uh, go, uh, uh, can be good for hog hunting, but hog hunting isn't, uh, uh, you know, isn't there long enough, it, you know, um, for for this to be tested as a, uh, for the dog to be tested as a game dog. And, and that game is, um, again, remember, they're, more multiple dogs on a hog if you were talking about hog hunting um any other activity it's pretty hard to find gayness uh that or pretty hard to find a point that you can prove gayness through that all right let's continue on gameness does not mean that your dog is aggressive it doesn't mean that it will fight and it doesn't even mean i agree with those two things Gameness is not being aggressive. Gameness is not uh, 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 willingness to fight. That is completely true. You could you could have any dog, a Hachiwawa, that were animal aggressive and were looking to fight any dog, whatever size. And I, I agree with you completely. What else are you saying? Being that your dog just kicks ass. Your dog can go in and destroy its opponent in a minute and that does not mean you have a game dog correct um, I, I agree 100 percent. this is tested when the dog is losing or the odds are completely against it and it stays in the fight anyway even if it means the dog dies he yes yes now there you're you're great game that begins to be shown when a dog is losing for a while or has for a while or has uh sustained a massive amount of damage that it's really uh, um, and I'm sorry to be graphic. We're talking about this in historical educational terms. So we're not condoning. We're not applauding any activity that's illegal, that's fighting. We are just uh, taking this on an educational tone, taking this with using historical uh, information and putting it in, in, in today. So, uh, yes, uh, the dog in, in this term to show gayness, we have to have had uh, a while, or had, for example, uh, from what I read, you know, I've never done this, but from what I read, you know, uh, flat tires, they call them, or, or broken uh, legs. 
and the dog will continue even though it has two broken legs it will continue to try to fight instead of saying oh look i'm i'm damaged i'm out of here i'm not gonna win this way uh they would find a way to continue on they will drag themselves if they need to they will roll over to get to the other dog even though they, they're barely moving they're and they're still trying to fight because that's what they, they their their DNA is asking for. And why is that good? Well, again, uh, we always uh, and you know love a dog that it's uh, courageous. And and dog any any person that um, owns a dog like that is proud, not because oh I'm I'm, I'm like him. No, just proud of having a, such a quality animal, such an animal that is such. Uh, a warrior that will leave everything out there. That's all. But anyway, let's continue. Will not stop. Most people that are claiming to have game dogs turn around and post their dog's pedigree. That just shows you you don't know what a game dog is. Correct. You're right. Just so you, you could, when you show a pedigree, you're just basically showing. Uh, you can basically show that they that dog comes from game bred dogs. And, and that is still questionable because just because you the dogs were fought, just because the dogs were won contests doesn't mean that the dogs won those contests game. Doesn't mean that they they, they had to show gameness to win. So they that that is kind of like game bread is a really loose uh, term to just mean that it, they come from working dogs, the working line because. Really, in, the, in reality, to be game bred, you have to come from the dog will have to come from two, uh, two parents that show to be game in a match. You know, show that they were there, they were not doing well, they and even despite of that, they were there for a long time, uh, taking it, taking it, and taking it, and somehow either they came up from the bottom or the dog quit on top. The other dog, the opponent dog, quit on top. So, so. That's the only way you can say you have a game bread dog, in, if you want to be tight ass about the, the definition. But most of us, when we see like these come from lines that were uh, fighting lines, we call them game bread. Anyway, let's continue on. And you need to you need to look into it a little more. Most people have never tested their dog's gameness. <clears throat> this pup right here that I'm playing with, that's him. I'm teaching him the owl command. And uh, I can tell you he is a game dog. Mm, um, I can't. He was three months old. He thought that I was going to hurt him. He attacked me. My dogs jumped on him one day. He got a little out of line. He Well, see that three-month thing? No, that's you cannot, you cannot label a puppy like that game. It's, 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 not, it's, it's not, you know, the, just because he, he attacked you or this and that. No. It's it's not gameness at all. It it, it just showed uh, some sort of level of aggression or so, some sort of uh, of human aggression because it went after you. Uh, it that's not gameness. You just you yourself said that. You yourself said it's not the willingness to fight. It's 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 you being already there and you're losing for a long time, half hour. I seen an hour the dog is getting uh, you know beat up and then. Uh, comes from the t bottom for some reason, or, or you know, like get the second win, and then boom, the 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 the, the dog that was already winning for such a lot, such a lot, long time, uh, it's like, oh my god, this guy is not, or oh, this person, this dog is not stopping. I'm like, no, 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 I'm gonna stop right here. Forget about it. And that's how they win. But your example is not gameless. I am sorry to say that, and I'm sorry I'm I'm using your video. I, I was sent your video, so I do apologize. But this is it. He fought back against six dogs, and even from his back, he was still eating my ass up trying to. Well, it sounds like you know you, you have you had a, a a little bit of a people biting issue there. Uh, that is not a quality uh, breeding. If, if despite him getting bitten by other dogs, he still was going after you. That's not good, man. That's not. And, but it's certainly not gaining, my friend. Sorry about that, but it's not get him off this dog would jump on a bear and not let go and he didn't care what happened to him gameness does not mean that your dog will fight other dogs and it doesn't even mean that your dog wins fights 
Right. Yeah, the American Pit Bull Terrier is typically game bred, but even dogs like this, your mixed breeds, can be game dogs. No. No. No, just because they, just because a dog, uh, how would I say this? Just because a dog starts a fight or, or gets into a fight or, or stays there for a little while in a fight, does not make them game. There has to be, again, there has to be uh, things happening at the moment for it to be game. There needs to be, the dog be losing, the dog is losing somehow. There has to be a, 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 at least some time, some time for this dog to get beat up, have the opportunity to scratch, and the dog scratching time and time again, even when they it knows it's just going to go back to the same thing, getting piled up, getting beat up. And then a level of damage has to be endured. You know, some people, some, some, you know, like historical terms, we're talking historical here. Um, some dogs are ear suckers. So, you know, the dog could be ear sucking for two hours. And there's no game is going on there. It could be frustration. You could win through frustration. The dog got frustrated, but game is this, this requirement before that's a prerequisite uh before you can consider oh that's gameness that was a game loss that was a game win you know okay let's continue on because it seems like i they go on for a long time they just have to stay in the fight now if you watch this long give me your answer in the comments yeah, I'm, can I'm you have a game dog that will stop on command is it still a game dog no it's not it it got nothing to do with it. once it once again if once again uh the game dog it, it's one thing is gameness and stopping when you in command is a different thing because gameness you're getting beat up it's not like you, you're stopping nothing you you you're at the bottom you're getting it done to you you're not doing it so gameness you're confusing the terms but anyway i'm gonna leave it here this is tony montana Till next time.